Blue Camel and uh, great to see him from very, very sharp at Broadway Rubio and a great camp. Uh, far away, any questions? Uh, obviously, we've got a lot of good light points around in there, but two great shops. So, where would the feast on the nation? So, like some crawler? Well, I have to be honest, before the Memphis fight, you know, crawler was a fight uh, that. You know, that, that was the same night that Mitchell clocked Barosa. So you know, we expected Mitchell to beat Barosa and then go on to fight Crawler. But Luke was sort of you know, really on the coattails of Crawler. Like, maybe not you know, the next couple of fights, but he was certainly someone he was looking at. And then the Yvonne Mendy fight just really turned everything upside down. So performance like that against Gary Sykes. And I know that someone of Luke's calibre, no disrespect to Gary Sykes, should be beating Gary Sykes, but not necessarily like that. I think that was the most impressive thing about the victory tonight. We were laboured to a win, maybe over 12 rounds. You know, it still would have been a good night to work. It's the way they ended it. It's back to the sharp loop count. You know, great feed, sharp count punching, all the things we know he's so good at, fast hands. And, and that was just missing for the men fight. So I'm kind of like, even though that event happened, it feels like it never happened, kind of thing. <laughs> but it did. And we deal with that. And maybe that will go on to make me better fighter, but in terms of the world level is concerned, he has got aspirations to win the British title. I've definitely got aspirations for him, and I know War Games as well, to rematch him on Mendy. I think that's a good fight for him. I think we need to, at some point, deal with that situation. But I think realistically, in the next you know, 12 months, I think the good camp will be ready for the World Cup. But it all depends on the champion. You know, I'm sure he fans to fight an anti you know, soon. But he's working on things. No, and tonight I expected it to take time. That all the work that he'd done before that it didn't. It happened very quickly. But I think you'll see more of that work in a fight like Mendy, where you know he's going to get the rounds, and you know a lot of people will be interested in the ring. Luke, is someone like Crawler in this race, and he's someone who's shown that he can lose very, very few times and come back with what he's done? Um, yeah, I mean, you could say that. You could use him as an example. Um, I don't really look at any of the fighter and use them as an example of, oh, they are being beat, so it's okay, they've, they've come back and they've done better. I just, I just concentrate on myself, you know, I've, I got beat for, for my own reasons and then, uh, you know, I took full responsibility and going there that night and I knew I wasn't right. And, you know, I, I faced consequences, um, but I'm, I'm training hard as ever, I'm 100% focused, I've had a great camp. And I got in the ring tonight completely different. I got in there actually feeling good. And then you see the difference when I, when I feel good, you know, I'm on it. It's like, like what I said, you see the, the sharp footwear, the sharp punches, the power, the lightness, focus. And then, you know, I was, I was just getting going. And, you know, I've just started a relationship now with George. It's our first camp together. But it's still early days. I believe that I'm, I'm a lot better fighting just in the first camp already with George. And I'm learning a lot. And, you know, three or four camps down the line, it's working together. It's going to be a whole different level. And, you know, I'm excited now. I'm going to with George. And, you know, it's, um, I can see the little bits that he's adding to me and bringing more of my boxing skills out. And, you know, it's still early days. And, um, like I said, a couple more camps together will be working with George. And, you know, we're going to see a big, big change. Not necessarily a big change, but. You know, a lot more what I'm here for. Um, it's just a start. I need to scratch on the surface. Yeah. It was it you viciously went to finish it for you as well? Is that something you wanted to do to get it over early? Oh, yeah, 100%. Um, you know, you're not in there for, for all the time. Everybody wants to see a knockout. And then, you know, I hit him with a shot. His legs went, and then that was it. And I was, I was straight in there. Getting on. No one does that to Gary Sykes. You know, like, I've seen him being dropped in the first round before and we've finished as strong as a lion in round one. You know, he's, he's a tough, tough um, warrior to walk with. Um, you know, he, he goes in with everyone, he don't dodge at anyone. And, um, you know, so I know I have any than Gary Sykes, but I was just feeling, feeling all week that, you know, I need to make a statement here and, you know, I knew I was going to knock him out. I thought it was going to be an overcook, but it wasn't. What well, have you mentioned the menu for there? Is that the next fight you want or would you? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I've got aspirations. I love the British title. I, I, I like that belt. Um, I think it's a great group. Um, you know, obviously, sit down with Eddie and, and George and, and just 
plan it together, but um, you know, again, for, for my city of Hull, no one's ever won it, so it'd be nice to rewrite history yet again, and get more belts, and then just keep moving on, and pushing forward and picking up more belts on the line. Um, yeah, nerves, of course, nerves no, matter. You get nerves very quite, you need your knee nerves to stay sharp. Um, the difference was going into this fight, I was actually feeling good. You know, I was, I was, my body was feeling good, my, I was focused, and I was just feeling good in myself. And that was, that makes a whole lot of difference. You know, when you're walking into a fight, my body's aching and you don't feel right, and you feel a bit weak and whatever else. And, seen that in the last fight and that just won't be uh, like I said but I still decided to come in there and, uh, and let everyone see the fault kind of myself. But you know that's history, I'm not here for excuses, it's been and gone now, everything happens for a reason. And um, one or two fights more than all the position man because they're going to see a lot more from me. Um, yeah like yeah I mean you know I took him out with one shot, went down, never really recovered from that shot. And, you know, the next one was just to uh, get in there. It's still smart, you never know if you, you know, I could walk into a big swing, but you know, I, um, I attacked the body when I went back in and back up to the end and uh, just stayed on him, not, not let him off the leash. Is it next week? Carol said the same thing. Is there anything you need to be in the space? <coughs> yeah. said that, I think, you know, he's had a long count and I think mentally as well, it was so much focus to get the performance right to overcome this point. Top of my head, I'm thinking sort of June time. I mean, you know, it's, it's probably a week or two off and Trevor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, you've got me to follow that. Right? So, uh, no, there's, uh, there's, there's no one in there. Um, I'd like to go back to Hull. Yeah. No, and, and, and I think Tommy, Tommy's fighting on May the 7th, you know, sort of, you know, a bit of a tune up fight, and he's going to be wanting to get <coughs> some straight in the deep as well. So these two had a good double that game there for a while. You know, I'm not talking about Tommy. Okay. No, I'm just saying. Oh, no, I'm but, kidding. But, but, <laughs> but Tommy will be ready for a fight as well, you know, a decent fight. We had some good nights there, so. Stephen Bruce, I thought Possibly, yeah, I mean, it's good. Scott Carter's got a really tough fight next week against Sean Gold. Um, and if he wins that, he's got one more fight to keep it on to that one. So whether we look at Luke Campbell as that guy, it's a tough fight to win the long of that belt out, but you know, but again, if the money's there, I know Scott Carter will, will take the fight and Luke will take the fight as well. I have no problem matching guys together. Um, but you know, like I said, that's an option. Uh, Yvonne Mendy is definitely an option and that's a, a big headline fight in Hull, I feel. Um, but I, you know, I want to get back in I always felt before the menu fight with three or four fights away from the world title and I still feel that now. So we never really had aspirations to win in the British before. So we were looking a little bit too far ahead, you know, because we were thinking about world titles and you know, now we just sort of might have got the Commonwealth title, maybe we win the British, maybe we win the European, and then you know push towards the world title probably this time next year. I mean I like the British I like the idea of the British you know. I like the idea that the British fighting fans can get involved in it, you know, you know they know both, both sides of the fights and the perspective of the atmosphere, you know, when I box Tommy Coyle and all everybody, all the British boxing fans are uh, buzzing about it, you know, and that's, that's what really gets, gets me up for it. You know, but, you know, whatever Eddie says and George says, I'll, I'll do whatever they're talking to me. You feel a little frustrated, it's taking a little longer. People are getting rushed to big fights much early in their careers these days. You don't feel impatient and you want to take your pace? Yeah, I mean, you know, well, I believe in the team around me, um, Eddie, George, you know, so whatever they say, I'm, I'm with them and I'm just saying whatever it is. They think it's time for me to, to do it, and it's time for me to do it. And, um, you know, I trust them, they, they believe in me and I think it's the right time. And, I think fighters these days, especially with social media, and, I mean, Anthony's a good example as well, Joshua, you know, and, and you're in the kind of as well where, especially with an Olympic gold back, 
fans almost aren't happy enough to see you slowly progress. They want to see you jump straight into the deep end. Actually, if I meant it, it was a fight you should have won. Really, that wasn't really the gamble that we were taking. That was just a bad night. But I think all fighters now are under pressure to step up more and more every time because people are having their platform to speak a lot more. You know, You've got two near novices fighting for the world every right time. Yeah, but you know, I mean, Luke, Luke really could go, could fight for the world, could fight for the world title in two fights. Mm. You know, is he ready for that? You know, but it's it got the opportunity at the time. You know, Anthony has got a fight where to get the world heavyweight title, it's a fight he can. Hopefully, will win. It's the fight rather than the title. But I think now, fans, broadcasters, media, they want fighters to progress quicker than they've got the other.